everybody. So it's Friday, and um, this, this week's theme is, um, I always get the theme and the challenges confused. So if I get this wrong, I'm sorry. But I think the theme is um, school, school organization, and then the challenge is to get people to um, ask questions. Um, so basically the questions can be about anything, you know, your life, um, about me, so anything as long as it's not too personal. I mean, too personal for me would be like telling where I go to school because that's what can happen. Um, so yeah, just ask questions. Um, I give very good advice, um, or so I'm told. <laughs> that sounded really weird, but yeah. Um, so just ask me anything. Um, yeah. So for school organization, let's see. Okay, so um, I definitely recommend getting a backpack. I don't know if this is part of like school organization, but I think backpack is a backpack is very um, important. I used to tr like try to um, use like the bags for just like one side. Probably have one somewhere, but I, I in sixth grade I remember I used to wear this zebra one. It was a zebra one from Walmart, like ten bucks, and so it was really really cute. But it was just killing my arm. Like, the, my arm would be like this by the end of the day. And I'd be like, oh my gosh. So, um, definitely get a backpack. Now, the one I have is just by Jansport. It's purple. Okay. And, um, what I do is I keep a binder for every single subject. Now, that doesn't really work out for me sometimes. Just because I know it's a lot to carry around and it's a hassle to have to go back to your locker. Um... But I still do it because I need it, or else I'm a very messy person, and I need to... I recently um, organized this, so I'm, re I'm a very messy person, so I need to, like, get everything... I need to force myself to be neat, basically. Um, so this is my English binder. I'm in the process of decorating my binders, so this is pretty plain right now. But, okay. So, in the front pocket... I just keep my scan charms for um, English. So I have two scan charms so far. I have a 85 and a 100. Okay. And then on the front, is this this handout that she gave us? And then I have um, every single tab. Every single tab is like. Um, it's, I put like what it's for so I have like my reading logs um, my writing journals um, worksheets, notes um, vocab spelling and then I have short stories because we read short stories and we get, get tested on them so I put everything that we get of those back there and I love these dividers these are color coded so they're all different colors this one um, happens to be purple but it just looks like this. I love these. They feel so nice. And I actually didn't want to ruin them by writing on them with Sharpie. Excuse me. So I actually just took a, um, a post-it and I like, cut it to fit this little tab. So, yeah. So like, there's all different colors in here. So um, definitely use... Um, dividers. They're so, so good and they'll help you because I've noticed I the teacher asks for something automatically I can go to that tab and then find it. So, that's nice. Okay. Then I recommend an agenda book. Okay, so it, this, you know, differs from depending on what your school system is like, but in my school, um, I know we get our organizers, so they give us our organizers and I usually like to, um, to uh, decorate them. I love decorating my organizer. So right now, all I have on mine is just a hot shell ray sticker on it because I love them. And I saw them in concert, actually. But, um, yeah, and then on the back, I'm still or, um, doing it some. Right now, I'm working on my collage. So it's like a fashion beauty collage. But um, right now, the back just has a New York City sticker on it because I love New York City. So, yeah. Organizers are amazing. Agenda books, whatever you want to call it. I call it your one. And a lot of people are like, 
person organizer. And others are a person agenda. So I call it this. But they're so helpful. I don't know what I would do without this. I'm stuffing fiber bars in it. That's nice. Um, so yeah, agenda books are amazing. And this is what happens every single week. I have to empty it out by the end of the week because it's full of junk that I do not need. So I need to clean that out this weekend because I don't have to go to school until Wednesday. So that's nice. Finally a break. And Halloween's on Sunday. Yay! What are you guys being for Halloween? I'm going to be sneaky. As you might have been able to tell from that video. Um, so yeah. Definitely for school organization, design, school organization, try to color code. Um, it might work, it might not work for you. It really just depends on how, you know, how you like to do things. So, these are just some tips that I think are very useful. And, um, yeah. Um, I think that's it. And I'm loving this outfit I'm wearing right now, by the way. Um. Yeah, take like this shirt um, with these little kind of like roughly flowers. It's so cute and it's really long. It's like I'm always wearing pajama bottoms, but it's like really long. So so super cute. It's super cute. And then I'm wearing a um, lace sweater under it. It's not really a cardigan, but it's a really nice um, cute sweater. And then just I just paired it with this gold necklace which i thought wouldn't go well all the the contrast of the different um colors and um like designs but it actually looks really really cute and i just wore this to the movies oh and i just watched, watched paranormal activity that's a whole other story oh my goodness i'm not gonna be able to sleep so if you guys watch that movie let me know and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching and ask your questions. Bye.